Hey guys, what's up? It's Presley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Crystal and we're going to be making some really fun holiday treats. So before we get started, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to go follow me and Crystal on all of our social media platforms. They'll be right here on the screen. Presley, I'm so excited you're here. I love the holidays and I love making treats for the kids. <laughs> Sometimes they go a little overboard, <laughs> uh, but these are super fun, easy, and they're amazing to bring to parties. Love we're going to make easy Christmas tree rice crispy treats. So excited. So we're going to start with some butter. I'll let you just do three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. And I'm going to heat yeah. up. Do you just like cut it on like the... I'm yeah. also learning. I'm not a cook. Oh, you're not a cook. Okay, so guess oh, what? Look. No. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to tell you exactly how much it is. So you cut oh. right there. Is that easy? Yeah, that's so easy. Okay, so we're going to melt that. And then we're going to melt the marshmallows. You got this. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so now that you've cut the butter, now I'm that really I really proud of cut you. It. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We are gonna warm it up. Usually my mom does all the cooking. I'm a good mom. I do. But see, now you're gonna make it for your mom, and she'll be so proud of you. I know. I'm usually just make grilled cheese. <laughs> so throw that in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm actually gonna let you do all this. Okay. I'm really gonna like. You know, you're gonna become a chef at the end of this. So you're gonna take that. Perfect. And we're just gonna warm up the butter and make sure it gets melted. <laughs> <laughs> Melting the butter in the pot over here. You, now we're gonna pour the marshmallows into the pot with the butter. So I'm gonna have you stir this up. Okay. And we're gonna put it on lower okay. because you don't wanna burn the butter. Be patient with this dish. It, it's actually quick, but if you try to overheat it, it will end up getting black and burnt and that's like, doesn't taste good. You wanna make sure you um, melt the marshmallows slow and steady and it'll be worth it. So because these are Christmas trees, we're gonna use green food coloring and use it sparingly because food coloring really goes a long way. Test it once you, you know, put a couple drops in first and then you'll see how green you like it. As Crystal went to culinary school, so she knows all like the I did, I went to fancy culinary terms school. and yeah. everything. Well, I went to French culinary school like French 12, school. yeah, like 12 years ago. And the story was, it wasn't like to start a business or anything. I just went to farmer's market one day. There was so much beautiful <laughs> produce and I felt so like stuck and I just, had to like go in a cookbook and figure something out. So I was like, you know what? I want to walk into a farmer's market or anything like that and just be like, oh, I know I'm gonna make something like that. Like there were such beautiful things I've never seen before. So I did a year program <laughs> just, so, so I, just so I could cook. And so it's been a, but like, a really fun so thing to learn. cool. I want to do that. All right, so I just want to show you how green this is. It looks so good. I know, you just eat it like that, right? I know, I would. <laughs> stir? Yeah. And I'll pour some rice crispy treats in. I actually love eating it hot like this. Like it's hard for me to get to the part where it's like cold, cold. and cutting it because I just want to eat like this. Okay, perfect. So while it's still warm, we're going to put it in a pan. So we're going to spray this down because we don't want it to stick. Even though there's butter, the uh, marshmallows, the sugar melts it and then it can really like stick to the pan. So you want to make sure it's really, really um, covered. It's a sticky mess, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> And that's the beauty of Rice Krispie Treats because they're white. You can make any color. Sometimes mm -hmm. we do um, like a tie-dye. That's so fun. So why don't you smooth this out? Okay. And I'll move this aside. Perfect. Yeah, it's sticky, right? Very sticky. <laughs> and here's a little trick for you. Give me your hands. Okay. Clean hands. Clean. They're clean. I washed them, don't worry. Okay, now rub and then you can flatten it. Because oh. it's a lot easier than using, yeah, see? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's so much easier. Right? Hands is the best tool for cooking, always. Makes sense. As long as they're not too hot. <laughs> and here's the kicker. This is where we're gonna put sprinkles in. Oh, always. Go for it. I love some sprinkles. Should I put it like just on top? Yeah, just go for it. After we cut it, the sprinkles will look like little ornaments. Oh, that's so yeah, cute. It's cute. I feel like this could go for like any holiday. You should like change oh, yeah. the colors. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, this is obviously a Christmas tree, but you can do any color. And the kids always love it, and it's the perfect treat to bring to school. It's perfect. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool off a little bit. If we cut it now, it'll peel apart. Mm -hmm. We have to let it cool, and then we're gonna show you how to cut it up into little trees. Yeah, but in the meantime, we have another treat to make, so 
Let's do it. Okay, so for our second little treat, we're gonna be making some green mint hot chocolate. I'm so excited because hot chocolate is my favorite thing, especially during the holidays. So I feel like it's your love language. It really is. <laughs> I had like three yesterday. Like I like am obsessed with hot chocolate. Like, well, this one is so good. Not only delicious because you have like the mint in it, but it's so pretty, and mm -hmm. we're gonna really decorate it up. And it's actually really fun if you did like a hot chocolate bar at a party, Ooh. and then had all the toppings and stuff on the side, and people could make their own. Oh, that's so. such a good idea. Yeah. So my just little chef, really we're gonna host. start. <laughs> Two cups of half and half. Perfect. And we're just gonna warm it up. You wanna warm it um, almost to boiling, but if you hit boiling, then it'll sort of create that film on top which you don't want for milk. Perfect. And then we're gonna do two cups of milk. And look, it's half and half in whole milk. It, this is not like a vegetable drink, you know? It's a decadent, delicious drink. But <laughs> there's nothing worse than like expecting a great hot chocolate and it and tastes it being like not like good. watery. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this is not a watery one. So it's perfect. And again, we're just gonna heat this up just below boiling point. Okay. All right, so no chatting, no gossiping while you cook. <laughs> when there's milk on uh, the stove, you have to watch it. So yeah. this is, we're learning. This is all we're learning. We're learning. And I probably did learn that at the culinary school, but that's fine. <laughs> so now that we have our extremely warm milk, <laughs> extremely warm. we're gonna pour half of the bag of white chocolate chips I in love there. White chocolate. And of course you can do dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I like the white because um, since we're gonna make it green, you need you know the white to pick it up. You take the whisk, whisk, and this is cold, so you can hold on to this. And we're going to mix it up so the chocolate Ooh. melts. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of mint extract. Ooh. And if you don't like mint, you obviously can omit this, but I love that kind of peppermint chocolate flavor. Me it's a really too. great combination. And then we're gonna add the green food coloring. Okay. I mean, Ooh, already, right? Look at that. So fun. Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> you have some Andy's mints. My favorite. Yum. And let's just pop them out. And again, like if you wanna do like a little um, hot chocolate bar, just put these in a little bowl and people can kind of break it up themselves or you can crush them prior. Christmas here, right? <laughs> so Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna make this for my family when we go back. So I'm gonna be like, look at what I learned. What are you doing for Christmas? We're going to Florida with my family. Fun. And so I'm it's kind of warm there. Yeah. Well, so this will make it feel Christmassy? So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. So professional. This is my expertise. I love to chop and so do my kids now. <laughs> And you will too. <laughs> and you will too. <laughs> you can smell that mint, which is so delicious. It smells like Christmas. Right? So Christmassy. So Christmassy. <laughs> I'm going to ladle you. this in. Okay. Mm, that looks so good. Good, right? I'm so ready to drink all this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. By the way, this is actually perfect for um, like a leprechaun drink. Oh, yeah. Patrick's, yeah. That's You can put any color and really. Um, any of these. Yeah. I mean, you can even do red. You can actually put red in there. It would be really oh, yeah. pretty too. So red and green. And make kind of like a Santa looking drink. Oh yeah, with the whipped cream as like a beard. Yeah, <laughs> it would be so cute. To pour some whipped cream. And I'm so glad I still have some left in here. My kids clearly <laughs> <laughs> went after it. You're gonna take your little mints and just a little decorate on top. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Isn't that awesome? Cheers. Cheers. How good is that? So good. <laughs> that is actually delicious. Delicious. It's like the perfect hot chocolate. Like it's so thick and like rich and oh, so good. So good. And now to go perfectly mm. with our hot chocolates, we're gonna get our Rice Krispies and make them into little Christmas trees. Right. How we're gonna cut these little trees is you're gonna cut right down the center. Okay. I'm gonna do that what first. is it? We say hot dog style. That's what the kids say. Hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like fold a paper and it's like we fold it's like hot dog or hamburger style. <laughs> so cut it like a hot dog. Okay, I'm cutting it like a hot dog. I learned that in culinary school. No, I, didn't. <laughs> I, swear I did it. Wow, as you can see, that's my a, cutting techniques are really professional. That's okay. Wait, as long as it looks good and it's delicious, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you got there. Okay. Then you're gonna cut it hamburger style. Um, zigzags. Zigzags. Ooh. Nail seal, it should pop out. Perfect trees, <laughs> it should. Ready, I, see. I already see a tree. Oh, yes! I already see the tree. <laughs> oh my god, I see a tree. Look at me, I'm doing <laughs> so good! I look like the Grinch, my hands are like stained green. <laughs> yeah, but that's when you know it's gonna be good. Yeah. 
Oh, so that's right? so much easier. <laughs> this is why we want to make sure the pan is fully greased so you can slide it out. Come right. You want to take that? It looks like a little piece of pie. Now we're going to take a little pretzel salt. Okay. So you want to make sure that you do this. It's cold enough to cut, but warm enough where you can still um, put the pretzel chip in. Because <gasps> they're so cute. Is that cute? Oh, she's like little red hairs. <laughs> Mmm, and they're so warm. It's good, right? So good. Yay! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to go follow me and Crystal on all of our social media platforms. And happy holidays! Happy holidays! Bye!